years ago, some friends and I did Fiat 90, which is structured like Exodus 90. For those of you who know what it is, you fast for 90 days and observe changes in your body, mind, and soul. This experiment has been largely structured, although it has been modified, around Fiat 90, just because I've already tried it and I know that it works. Now, I wanted to talk today about Fiat because this is one of those topics that really made a huge difference in my life. Those 90 days, they were the desert that I needed to prepare myself for lockdown. And I'm still benefiting from the fruits of that process. And so why not go back to that, right? That after all, this is psychological development of teachers. And if I'm going to keep track of the changes that I've been experiencing, I think this would be a good place to start. Now in Latin, fiat means let it be done. And this comes from when Mama Mary said yes to becoming the mother of God. And Mama Mary's yes was the most important fiat that the world has ever seen. It's a great example of exercising free will. Change doesn't happen if you don't choose to change, right? Starting with fiat and the whole process of talking about what's happened over the last two years as encapsulated by this experiment has been kind of like a full circle moment for me. It really starts with saying yes and who am I saying yes to and to make the changes as measurable as possible has been related to saying yes to the hard stuff, saying yes to sticking to a schedule, saying yes to being more obedient to God, to my commitments, to my family. It's a long process because exercising free will means that you are choosing but at the same time you're also letting go and being able to let go is still something that I'm struggling with and it's something that is difficult to, to do because to want to be in control of the outcome. So what areas of your life do you want to exercise your free will and say, I want to change or yes, I am willing to do this or yes, I'm willing to buckle down and do the work. Based on what I've experienced over the last two years, it's been pretty worth it to keep saying yes, despite not knowing the outcome, despite surrendering and trusting that it will all work out. After shooting Fiat, I realized I should talk about trust and surrender. I'm just going to record all of this and then release it over the next few days because I feel like this is too big a topic. I don't think I'll even be able to cover everything, but I do want to share the process of growing in trust and surrender. Those are really big concepts. I'll probably... Those are really big concepts. I should...